certain industries and farms along the railways in its revival plans as it looks to restart operations to Kisumu this December. Kenya Railways Managing Director Philip Mainga says besides passengers, the parastatals has rehabilitated most dormant siding lines that used to evacuate cargo from factories in the western region such as national cereals and produce board stores and sugar factories. A sound that has not been common in parts of Rift Valley and Western Kenya for more than a decade. The excitement over the revival of the meter gauge railway is intense as this trial train snakes its way through the picturesque valleys and hills of the Rift Valley landscape. But it doesn't end there. Rehabilitation of the meter gauge railway includes a 2 billion shillings link between Longono town and the Naivasha inland container depot, which connects the Mombasa Naivasha SGR and the meter gauge railway, as well as the restoration of the railway between Longono and Malaba. Now what we are trying to do is to connect the blood against which is SGR in ICD Naivasha, with the meat and gang that has been existing, this line on our upper side, which moves all the way from Mombasa all the way to this place. Why are we doing that? It is because SGR ends at Naivasha. And we want connectivity to MGR so that we can create efficiency of movement of Kango from the port of Mombasa to the region. Kenya Railways says it has rehabilitated 200 wagons and coaches in readiness for the resumption of passenger and cargo services that will offer Wi-Fi and fully-fledged kitchens. Here we have a bunk bed. If you're a family, you can come with the kids. They can probably share this bed on top. And of course this double cabin opens to the other side, which means there's another bed another side on the other side. And here we have a couch where you can come and sit and relax with the arms rest. If you are many, if this is a group tour, you can of course share this place. We have an ashtray with a small table. Here we have also a trash can where you can also throw your refuse on the journey. And we have a sink, a fully functional sink. Kenya Railways has fitted this. This of course is a cabin that used to be there in the old days, but they've added a few more uh, amenities like uh, the charging. There's also a charging spot here. And when I open this, cover here you find what is revealed is a tap that is fully functional as you can see press and release legislators say laws have been enacted to protect the railway infrastructure the, it will be easier for us to set up um, certain laws we are going to review the railway act we want to review some other issues uh, the public finance management act needs to be reviewed um, le le let's uh, uh, keep on improving every time because continuous improvement is, is the best thing which we can do to this country. Currently, freight services terminating at the Naivasha ICD after which transporters load the cargo to trucks. 216 kilometers later after Nakuru station, this is the new Kisumu station. It's a separate one built from scratch. The other passenger station that used to serve this line is in the port area and Kenya Railways tells us it was incompatible with passenger services. The ride from Nakuru to Kisumu at a maximum speed of 80 kilometers per hour on some sections on this day took us seven hours. Alana Oko. Prime Edition.